Recently, I've been feeling quite helpless about everything that's going on. It feels like the violence has been really incessant, and when I feel really overwhelmed and powerless, I have to think about zoning in on what I can do with my little corner of the earth. And today, this is my tiny corner. I can make it better. I can help support the businesses that are feeding our community. And I can offer my drawing skills. And in doing that, I feel like less powerless and more hopeful. So this project that Think Chinatown is doing is part of a, a pro program we call Assembly for Chinatown. Um, after the start of the pandemic and seeing how businesses were really harmed uh, with the lack of foot traffic and with the lack of visitorship, we thought what are the ways that we could help uh, the businesses to survive through this difficult time. We tapped into a lot of creatives in the neighborhood and also young people who came together to help them create these spaces, these outdoor spaces, so they can continue their operations even under COVID restrictions. This is one of the structures that uh, is one of about eight that we've done already. And um, we have uh, artists decorate them, and we also have a volunteer um, a crew to help paint it. Um, also part of the team are professional architects, the A plus A plus A team, and they've designed these structures to be both durable as well as attractive and also compliant with city regulations. We realized that it was actually really hard for people to understand what they needed to do to build outdoor dining. Um, so we made a book that kind of broke all of that down. And Think Chinatown as a nonprofit, we had, you know, a little bit of money in the bank and we thought, you know, let's just go ahead and start and fundraise and hope that people will join in with us on this effort. And people really did pretty quickly too, yeah. You know, we would speak to the business owners to get what they want. We'd measure the site, kind of see what we can do. And on top of that, we also worked with Yin to find artists to paint the outside of these barricades, um, just to sort of make people excited about it and want to eat at these restaurants. My design has all of these creatures. A lot of them are feeding each other. And the reason for that is because in Chinese culture and a lot of Asian cultures, the way you express love is by making sure the other person is fed. And instead of asking, how are you? You usually ask, are you hungry? Have you eaten? What have you eaten? And so when you see these creatures feeding each other, it's really a billboard saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, but in a less cheesy way. <laughs> I hope that this is a visual embodiment of joy and that things will always be created. No matter what is happening, we will find a way. <laughs>